Stuck indoors, kids and neighbours driving you crazy, working from home, welcome to another edition of Lockdown Tech from Tech Sampled. So let's go ahead and look at the packaging to start things off. So Bose have got this minimalist design. As you can see you've got the, the headphones on the front. I quite like the, the tabs on the side which will make it easy to open. So you've got them on both sides. And on the back you've got a brief description of what the product does. Um, along the bottom, we've got the Google Assistant and Alexa built in, which are the voice assistants. Um, and it just quickly shows what the items are within the box. So you've got the headphones, you've got the carry case, and you've got two sets of cables. Guys, before I go ahead and unbox the Bose QC700 headphones, if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So while I get this out of the box, one of the key features of the Bose QC700 is a 20 hours of continuous usage using the active noise cancelling. Even when the battery is completely dead, on a 15 minute charge you'll get three and a half hours of usage. So just to start things off, you've got the manual. Pretty standard really nothing else inside the box. So I'm just going to put that to one side. So the case looks really, really nice. Um, high quality, as you expect from Bose. Like the Bose emboss in there. Don't forget this is also Bluetooth 5, which means you can connect two devices at once. So your phone and a computer, for example. Oh, there you have it. And let's just pull these out for a second. Um, it says download the Bose Music app, I guess. And it's got just simple instructions on the controls. Let's check out what else we got inside here. So I'm presuming these are the cables. Oh, that's quite neat. So you've got the USB-C charging cable, yep. Yeah. And you've got a two and a half mil to three and a half mil cable. Um, I really do like the finish on the, um, on the textures on this. Really, really soft. And I like the way this is magnetic. It just clips in there nice and neatly. So let's go ahead and look at the headphones themselves. Um, First impressions are pretty much these are really premium. You can tell by the the weight and feel of them straight away. Um, the the headband itself, it's a kind of metal finish, and the actual band itself has got this soft, really soft silicon, um, which is an improvement over the QC35s, which I've owned for a couple of years now. The only thing I can see is the cups are. They feel cold to the touch, but it's not metal compared to the QC35s. Um, but they still look incredibly premium. Um, I like the fact the the cups can rotate, which is quite nice, and you can adjust them. The slider going up and down, um, so it will fit around your head really nice and comfortably. Um, the cups themselves have got this kind of softer silicon. Again, it's a, an improvement over the QC35s um, and the buttons have been redesigned and it's much more streamlined. Obviously you've got the USB-C port there and you've got the, the cable connection for the 25 mil jack to go in there. So one of the key things um, which is completely different from the previous generation of the Bose headphones um, is the right cut. Or half the right cup it's actually a touch sensitive panel scroll upwards it will increase the volume scroll downwards it will decrease the volume or if you swipe to the right or left it will forward a track or 
go to the Peruse track. Um, if you hold the button down, I say button, if you hold your finger down on the cup, it will basically tell you how long the battery life is. So it does make it more futuristic and it keeps it in line with some of its competitors such as the, the Apple headphones and the Sony MX3s and MX4s. Now the reason I chose these headphones over any of them, number one, obviously the Apple ones are simply not available, just too pricey, you know, no one's going to pay an extortionate amount for a pair of headsets unless they really want to. Um, I mean I picked these up for £279 and the reason I've got these over other headsets um, is because I'm working from home and I needed something which was um, comfortable to wear for up to eight, nine hours a day. Um, I could take calls on it and the voice calls are going to be very clear on these. Um, I actually tried the MX3s by Sony and the MX4s and I've always found the voice quality really muffled compared to the Bose. Um, even on the QC35s, um, the voice quality is better. Um, and these are an improvement. Right, so let's just quickly take you around the buttons on the headphones. So the first button is a Bluetooth button. So once you press this button down, um, it will start flashing blue. And once it connects to a device, it should turn a solid blue. Still flashing. Let's turn a solid blue. So it's just connected to my phone now. Um, and the next button is the voice assistant button. So you can assign this button to either um, Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. So as soon as you press this button down and ask what you want, um, within a few seconds it will respond back um, with the information it's found. On the left hand side you've got this button um, which basically tells you um, what well, doesn't tell you actually. It, um, if you're using the noise cancelling function as soon as you press the button down it will stop all the noise cancelling on the headset so you can hear the world around you um, which is really really good. Um, and apart from that, that is it. There is no other buttons on here. So that is it guys. Thanks for watching the unboxing and first look of the Bose QC700 headphones. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. So until next time, stay safe and keep well. Goodbye.